Hey guys, so it's Tool here again. I decided to make a video in response to a question I got when I was commenting on somebody's model the other day. The question, when I when I gave my critique, there was a bunch of extra edge loops that didn't need to be going the full way around the model after like a certain point. They only needed them for like a control edge or something just to make an extra piece of their model, but they didn't need it going all the way around. So when I told the person about it, they didn't quite get how to get rid of them easily so I'm gonna I'm just making a small video just to uh, illustrate it basically so I was actually searching on this model to see if I had somewhere that I could show it that was maybe I left behind or something but I haven't been able to find anything so I'm just gonna make a couple extra loops and show you guys real quick so say for some reason like this model is completely done and I've optimized it about as far as I care to do it. Maybe a few extra edges here and there, but that's about it. Um, so say you have, for some reason, you have like a bunch of extra edges like this that other parts of the model are suffering because you've made a bunch of extra edges that you don't technically need. So one thing and this this works for high poly and low poly you can use it all over the place you can make it to do triangles you can make it to do quads pretty much anything sometimes when you get into higher numbers of edges that you have to get rid of it can get a little bit more of a pain in the butt um, but it's a fairly it's a pretty simple concept so let's get right into it so say I have all these edges and I really don't like having like five edges going all the way around this roof piece when I only need to have one after this edge for some reason I need five extra edges here so what I can do is I can take these three and collapse them into it and I can take these two and collapse them uh, and then straight away I can get rid of that edge set and that edge set uh, unfortunately with this one since it's a two I have to manually do it like this just to kind of illustrate sometimes it's a pain in the butt but it makes it so you don't have so many extra polys when you don't really need them so we just get rid of these ones get it down to one edge and then uh, since we if you're a stickler and you don't want any triangles for some reason well I, I don't like having triangles if I don't need them. Uh, you can go and add an extra edge going into it, and then you'll have your one, two, three, four sides to make it a polygon. And in ones like this, where you have two triangles on either side, you can just delete the one in the middle and get the same thing. So now I have two polygons, and this entire row is actually polygons. Uh, the next step to it is actually just doing pretty much the same thing I did on this side and just collapsing these two lines together and I'll do that all the way across but I don't really feel like doing it for these last pieces so I'm going to leave it uh, and the same thing if I want to get rid of the triangle that's there just add it and although like sometimes it may not exactly save you polys I'm not exactly sure if this actually has saved polys itself but it makes the final the further down the the line edges look cleaner so if you had this on a car or something like this um, say like for here if this actually attached to this piece and I had all these edges going over top of the front of this vehicle and over the the roof I would do this all the way across it that way I wouldn't have like there's there would be no need for me to have this many edges going all the way across it so I would definitely use this kind of method to get rid of them um, you can do this for two, three, four, any number of edges. It can get a little bit more of a pain in the butt when you get into higher sections, but really it's not, it's nothing to be afraid of. It might take a little bit of creativity sometimes, and that's about it. Um, even if we added in like an extra one, if you really wanted to optimize it in, you can just, uh, no, nope, that's not the one. One dirty weld the other way. Target weld that in. Target weld that in. And target weld that in. 
now you have the same thing. If you really want to get rid of the triangle, bam, done. So it works pretty easily. And like I said, it's not it's not a super optimization trick in itself. It's more for just cleanup and keeping your wireframe cleaner. Because instead of having all these extra edges, you could have just one coming out here. So I'm hoping that you guys can use this in your models to keep things clean. And uh, if you have any questions that you want to know how to do things better, I know you guys want unwraps and normal mapping videos, and I'm working on it. I need to sit down and just finish the tactical axe videos, and I will get to that at some point, but I make no promises when. <laughs> so yeah, just shoot me a line if you have any questions that you'd like me to try to make a quick video to address. Um, yeah, keep on watching my videos and asking questions. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.